السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته dear students hope you are doing well uh, welcome back in English language vocabulary course today's topic inshallah is going to be applying for a job uh, we have a let's start with a a job ad a job ad means a job advertisement or advertisement both are I mean uh, correct because it can be uh, pronounced as uh, advertisement or advertisement so applying for a job a job ad it means a job advertisement or a job advertisement if they are bank customer service assistant uh, do you have excellent communication skills and a genuine passion for customer service are you looking for a challenging role within a fast-paced working environment if the R bank has several new openings for customer service assistants Reporting to the customer service manager, you will be responsible for dealing with customer inquiries on the phone and via email. No previous experience is necessary as a full training will be given. The post offers excellent career prospects to the candidates who demonstrate leadership qualities as we are keen to promote and develop talent within the company. Um, we offer a competitive salary and an attractive benefits package, including pension, health care plan, and subsidized meals. If this sounds like the job for you, then you click here to fill the online application form, including details of your salary expectations. Okay, so let's go step by step. Actually, most of the vocabulary or the new vocabulary here are given. Uh, I mean, they have their own synonyms here. They have their meaning so it is very easy for you to find or to try to find the meanings of the new words here okay so uh, customer service assistant of course this is job application okay so, so customer service assistant in arabic we say customer service assistant okay so do you have excellent communication skills and genuine passion an authentic passion a real passion Passion for something means love for something. Because here it says, uh, passion for something. If you love, sorry, if you have a passion for something, you like it very much. So uh, do you have excellent communication skills and a genuine passion for customer service? Are you looking for a challenging role within a fast-paced working environment? Challenging role, role of course, here is uh, a post, is a work, is a job. Okay, so role here means uh, job. Okay. So challenging role means here a positive uh, word for something which is exciting and difficult. Okay, challenging, challenging, a challenging post, a challenging job within a fast-paced working environment. Fast-paced something, if, if something is fast-paced, it means it happens quickly. Okay, uh, three, yes, if an environment is fast-paced, things happen quickly there. Okay. Um, if the R bank has several new openings, several new jobs, yes, available jobs for customer service assistants. So they have vacants, lots of vacants. What is the post's name? What is the name of the vacation? What's the name of the job? It's customer service assistant, okay? Reporting to the customer service manager, you will be responsible for dealing with customer inquiries, okay? So uh, reporting to, uh, if you report to someone, he or she is your boss. Okay, he is he or she is your boss. Okay, report to reporting to the customer service manager. You will be responsible for dealing with customer inquiries. So, what is he responsible for? Uh, he is going to be responsible for customer inquiries. استفسارات العنا ال ال استفسارات العملاء on the phone and via email. No previous experience is necessary. No previous experience is necessary. Experience of the type uh, of job from before, okay? Experience of this type of job uh, from before, okay? So exp oh, previous experience is easy, actually, previous experience. So no previous experience is necessary as full training, okay? All the training you need, full training will be given, will be provided. The post, I mean, the job, the uh, position, the, job, the post offers excellent career prospects. What is career prospects? 
اوكي اوبورتونيتيز فور بروموشن اند كارير ديفلوبمنت يعني فرص الترقيه سو ذا بوست اوفرز اكسلنت كارير بروسبكتس تو كانديديتس هو دمنستريت هو دمنستريت تو هاف ليدرشيب كواليتيز ذا ابيليتي تو ليد ا جروب ليدرشيب كواليتيز از وي ار كين وي ار فيري كين فيري انترستد اوكي فيري كين تو بروموت يطور يعزز اند ديفلوب تالنت ويزن ذا كومباني We offer a competitive salary, a salary which is as good as, okay, which is as good as or better than the previous salary. This is competitive salary. So we offer a competitive salary and an attractive benefits package. A benefit package is in Arabic, رزمت امتيازات بالإضافة للراتب أو أو حزمة امتيازات بالإضافة للراتب. So uh, benefit benefits package here, all the extra benefits that a company offers as well as a salary. Okay, including pension, التقاعد, health care plan and subsidized meals. Subsidized meals are uh, meals which are partially paid for. Okay, partly paid for by the company. Okay, uh, if this sounds like the job for you, then click here to fill in the online application form, including details of your salary expectations. So uh, this is very easy. It is very easy. Okay. <clears throat> Good. Uh, let's go to a cover letter. This is one of the most important things students need to know because you need every every student, every graduate needs a cover letter or a covering letter. Okay, once he or she is applying for a job. Okay, a cover letter uh, is also called motivation letter. Sometimes it's called motivation letter. Covering letter, cover letter, motivation letter, which is always uh, one page, okay? Of course, it is used to describe why you are the perfect candidate for a certain job. You would like to show why, or you need to show why you are the best candidates to prove to them, okay? Explain to them, describe to them why you are the perfect candidate for the job, okay? So this is a uh, cover letter. You want your application to stand out. To stand out means to be better than other applications. Okay, stand out, to be better than others. So you should include a clear, well-written cover letter, which highlights, okay, highlights what key points from your CV. Here's a letter sent with the application for the job in A above. Okay, so a cover letter is always uh, I mean, submitted along with a CV, for example, okay? So, this is the cover letter. Of course, these are the most important contents of a cover letter. Here, um, <clears throat> of course, here is the uh, synonym or the definition, or the definition of a cover letter. A letter sent with a job application. Of course, it is sent with a job application, also called a covering letter or motivating letter, okay? So what are the most important things or points included in a cover letter? Okay, this is number one. Mention any studies or training courses you have done which are relevant to or connected to the role, to the position you are applying for. Okay, so all the studies, all the trainings you have received. This is number one. Two, if you have previous managerial experience, you can say, in my previous role, I mean, in my previous position, in my previous job, as sales manager, I led a team of four people. So experiences, good. Be sure to specify the job you are applying for at the beginning of your letter, okay? Be sure to specify the job, okay? Good. It's important to mention any relevant experience you have to show your, to show your suitability for the role. If you can, provide examples of specific projects you have carried out. So the most important thing here in this point, okay, is to show relevant experiences you have already had, okay? To show you relevant experiences. Okay, so let's, these are of course the most important or I mean among the most important points that needs to be, uh, points that need to be included in your cover letter. Dear sir or madam, please find attached my CV in support of my application for the position of customer service assistant, okay? I've just completed my degree in business studies and I'm keen to gain hands-on experience 
in this area. Hands-on experience, practical experience, means practical experience. Okay, so two, uh, three, sorry, practical, direct, not theoretical, of course, not theoretical. Uh, two, madam, of course, madam, uh, how you start a letter when you do not know the name of the person you are written, you are writing to, okay? Of course, dear sir, dear madam, of course, you cannot say, you cannot say dear sir or madam, you say dear sir, or you can say dear madam, okay? Of course, okay, please find attached my CV in support of my application for the position of customer service assistant. I've just completed my degree in business studies and I'm keen to gain hands-on practical experience in this area. During my course, I chose to study several modules, several courses, topics, subjects, okay? Courses, of course, okay, courses. During my course, uh, I chose to study several modules on banking and finance as I have always been interested in working in this field, okay? In this field means in this area of work, in this area of business, for example. In addition, I have worked as a part-time sales assistant in a large department store for the last two years, okay? Department store uh, is a very a hyper supermarket, okay? Hypermarket, which is, as the name implies, of course, department store, okay? So it is a store, it is a store which is divided into different stores, okay? Tawabiq. In this store, for example, they sell, um, for example, cars in the second one, clothes in the first, I mean, gro groceries in the fourth, they sell, so different things. It's a very huge building, I mean, okay? Every store, every store, uh, sell sells different things, okay? So I have worked as a part-time sales assistant in a large department store for the last two years. This has given me available uh, this has given me valuable customer facing experience it's customer facing experience experience in which okay he or she deals with customers i mean uh, in person face to face this is the definition dealing directly with customers okay customer facing experience okay customer facing experience as a, as well as developing good communication skills both with customers and the rest of the team I'm a team player, a person who is good at working with others. This is a team player, okay? A person who is good at working with others. I'm a team player and I'm keen to develop my career and gain managerial experience. Experience in, I mean, in, in the field of management, okay? Okay, managerial skills, experience of managing other people, okay? So I'm a team player and I'm keen to develop my career and gain managerial experience in the future, okay? Thank you for taking the time to consider this application, okay? To consider, to read, to see, okay? To consider this application, and I look forward to hearing from you. Yours, yours faithfully, Rebecca White. Yours faithfully, Rebecca White. So this is the uh, text for applying for a job. It's very useful, actually, because uh, most of the students uh, need this when they would like, for example, to apply for a job or work in a specific or to hold a specific position. Okay, so let's go to the exercises. Okay, 3.1, match the two parts of the business communication from A and B. Okay, healthcare plan, team uh, player, team player, yours faithfully, competitive uh, we can say salary, okay? A competitive salary is a salary which is as good as or better than the previous salary. Challenging, uh, we can say, uh, uh, challenging, number five, challenging role, challenging position, challenging role. Uh, communication skills, you can say. Communication skills, yes. Online application, lead, number eight, uh, lead a team career number nine career prospects cover letter cover letter okay done good replace the underlined words with a word or phrase from a or b with a similar meaning good 
okay, you do not need to have done this job before. You didn't need, you don't need to have done this job before. It means, uh, of course, to have done this job before, previous experience. As part of my job or as part of my new job, I get meals partly paid for by the company, subsidized meals. It's really important to make your application look different from all others. Look different, stand out. Stand out, if, for example, you want your application to stand out, you want it to look different from all others, okay? Working in the factory over the summer gave me some direct experience of manufacturing. Direct, uh, hands-on, yes, hands-on. Direct experience, hands-on experience. Of course, uh, I'm hoping to work in the area of automotive manufacturing. Automotive manufacturing. Area here means field, in the field of. Prism Consulting has a number of positions available for graduates. This is number six. Openings. Okay, positions, openings, or posts, or even roles. So we have openings, posts, roles, positions for different words with the same meaning. The SAD, sorry, the ad said the company will provide all the trainings you need. Full training, good. You should only apply for the job if you have led a team before. It means if you have managerial experience. The salary isn't great, but they offer an attractive set of other advantages, which is benefits package. Set of, a group of other advantages, okay? Very easy. Good, look at A and B, fill the gaps in the sentences or in these sentences using a word from the box and a suitable preposition. Okay, I'm sending my CV in support of my application for the position of sales team leader. I have a passion for sales. Uh, Jacob's experience is more uh, space the job than Sylvian's, okay? Uh, Sylvanus, okay, so it is uh, relevant to, is more relevant to the job than Sylvanus, okay, and my previous uh, role as sales representative, I reported to the sales manager, good, while working as a customer service assistant, I also carried out some research projects for the marketing department, six, he only has six months experience. He only has six months experience as a trainee. I don't think that makes him suitable for the job of a quality manager. Very good, very good. Answer these questions. What do you call a job which deals directly with the customers? Customer facing. How can we describe someone who works well with other people? Uh, team player, good. How should you start a letter to someone whose name you don't know? This is number three. Dear sir, dear madam. Okay. Four. What four other words can be used instead of job in an advertisement? Of course, we have uh, post, we have opening, we have position, we have role. How can we describe a working environment which is busy and rapidly changing? It is fast paced fast paced okay thank you very much until we meet again inshallah in the next chapter which talks about job interview all the best